Hey, uh, Patrick Kelly, uh, Distinguished Architect here at Zoom. And uh, today I want to take a few minutes and, and talk about our, our story when it comes to our Microsoft coexistence models, uh, our Mar Microsoft uh, work better together scenarios, and our, even as so far as our, our Zoom and Microsoft Teams integration points. A lot of our enterprise customers, SMB customers, mid-market customers are Microsoft centric meaning they probably have uh, Microsoft for a multitude of, of different things, identity, uh, authentication with Active Directory. They might use Office 365 for their productivity suite. Uh, they might utilize SharePoint and, and OneDrive for their uh, file repository. Makes perfect sense, right? You really have two flavors and choices there. You can either be a Microsoft shop or you can be a Google shop. And, and predominantly we see in the, in the enterprise and uh, consumer uh, model, uh, Microsoft is the forefront there. And with that, Microsoft Teams comes as part of that Office 365 bundle. And we see a ton of our customers utilizing the power of Microsoft Teams and its collaboration vehicle. And when I say it that way, I mean UCAS as a whole is two different parts. UCAS meaning unified collaboration as a service or even unified communication as a service. Some people see them as the same thing. They are distinctly different things. And when it comes to collaboration, Slack was first in this field to really do collaboration and Microsoft saw, hey, we better play catch up and we developed team and they developed teams to, to, to compete with Slack. And Teams is an amazing collaboration tool with its instant messaging and collaboration with, with colleagues and external uh, coworkers and stuff like that. Uh, persistent chat, file repository, everything, single pane of glass from a collaboration perspective. So a lot of our customers utilize that tool for, for that reason alone. But for the communication side, the real-time communication, the, the audio, the video, the meetings, the webinars, the breakout rooms, the digital signage, the phone, our customers see the power of that Zoom platform. And that's how we can bring this whole UCAS solution together. Communication from Zoom, collaboration from Teams, and a lot of probably our best practice is to run these applications and to, together at the, at the same time, like I'm running now. I have Teams on the left side and, and Zoom underneath me. But sometimes some customers want to blend those together. They want to live in a single pane of glass. And, and we can do that as well. And, and I'm going to show you how Teams and Zoom can kind of work together in, in a single pane of glass. Today... Teams has an app marketplace. As you can see, I'm, I have chats and teams and channels all on the left nav bar of my Teams client. On the bottom, you're gonna see an apps marketplace. And this apps marketplace takes you to the Teams app marketplace. So obviously, in this app marketplace are apps. And there are uh, Microsoft apps, there are third-party apps, and there are apps that you can develop on your own. I, I developed a couple up here built by, built, built by me. As we're gonna see, Zoom is obviously a choice of those apps. And you can see Zoom right here when I type in Zoom, it's pretty self-explanatory. Now Zoom allows me to plug in the Zoom app into my Teams client. I've actually already done it, so it's actually asking me to open it. But notice that when I do, on the left nav bar, I now have a Zoom app on my left nav bar. And when I click on that Zoom app, a few tabs are gonna show up. The first one's the chat tab. Uh, this is probably the least used of the tabs. Uh, this is certainly something that you can utilize and, and you can type in help and I, you can showcase what the Zoom bot can do for you. What you can do for you is, is actually if I actually send that message, um, the Zoom bot can come back and you can do command line stuff here. You can start meetings from a, a command line. You can uh, join meetings from a command line. You can use it this way. Probably not the, the best uh, uh, use case for, for your information workers and knowledge workers. They're gonna do one of two other things. They're gonna go to this meetings tab. The meetings tab is right next to the, the chat tab. And this meetings tab does exactly what, what it says. It lists the meetings that you have for the day. And not just Zoom meetings, Teams meetings, regular meetings are all listed here. We're gonna stay in this, in, in this Zoom world. And look what happens. I can do a couple of different things. I can see that this is not a Zoom meeting. Why? Because it says not a Zoom meeting and there's no start button here. How do I get a start button there? How do I uh, create a meeting in, in Zoom inside of Teams? Watch this. A couple of different ways. There's about four different ways we can start meetings inside of Teams utilizing the Zoom application. First, 
We just hit the start a meeting button. <laughs> this is a quick ad hoc meeting that you're going to have with your colleagues and, and compatriots. Uh, within this, I can just ty start typing names that I want to invite to the meeting. I want to invite Irvin. Uh, I want to invite Patrick, right? Uh, Patrick. Notice that these names are popping up. Where are these names coming from? These are Active Directory names. These are names that are already in my Office 365 tenant that I'm utilizing within the Zoom client. When you install the Zoom app, you actually are giving it permission to read your profile and write stuff to your calendar. And that's an important part of scheduling a meeting is inviting people and inviting, uh, setting a calendar item. What this does now, it's gonna actually hit start. Did you see what happened? It just launched a Zoom meeting right from Teams. How powerful is that? That tells you that you can be able to start a Zoom meeting right from the context of Teams without ever having to leave the application. So I started an ad hoc meeting with one touch join right from the Zoom application. So let's end that. We're gonna end the meeting and we're gonna go back into Teams real quick. Now, that's a start of meeting, that's an ad hoc meeting. Now we're gonna schedule a meeting. And here's where the power of the platform happens. Scheduling a meeting, I'm gonna have a lot more functionality here. This obviously says Zoom meeting right here. I could, it does a default topic. You can change this topic to anything you want. I could still search and add the same cast of characters that I had from the ad hoc meeting. Irvin and, and Patrick. Uh, I'm going to leave Tina off of this. Now we can start inviting resources to this meeting. At some point, we're going to go back to the office and we're going to want to book resources for this meeting. We're going to want book conferencing rooms for this meeting. We might want to invite Zoom rooms to this meeting. Or think about this. What if you're a Microsoft shop and you want to invite Microsoft Teams rooms? I can do all that right from the Zoom scheduling app. Conferencing room Baker is just a regular conferencing room. I have a Microsoft collab bar. I have a Microsoft Teams room. I even have a Zoom room that I can invite to this Zoom meeting. What this allows me to do then, I could schedule the meeting and then I can layer on additional modalities on this scheduled meeting. I can create passcodes. I can create waiting rooms. I can require authentication. I can do a whole bunch of security things on top of this meeting so I can meet my compliance and regulatory meetings, uh, security uh, demands. So now I'm going to save this. Watch what happens here. Watch what happens. I have now created a Zoom meeting for Teams, but look what happened to my Zoom client. It got updated with that calendar item. I didn't have to do anything. As soon as I created a Zoom meeting inside of Teams, my Zoom client automatically knows that I have a new meeting. It's pulling that information from Exchange, which is your free busy information of your Microsoft shop. You can uh, seamlessly blend all these calendars together. What about the Teams calendar? Let's go look at that real quick. Well, look at that. I created this meeting, the Zoom meeting. Look what my Teams calendar is actually updated with the Zoom meeting. Pretty, pretty slick, right? So now Susie and HR or Bob in accounting can seamlessly create meetings uh, from a scheduled perspective, then create meetings from a, an ad hoc perspective, and it updates seamlessly both calendars in the Zoom and Teams and Outlook platform. Let's expand upon that and go to chat. What's important here is that we now have the ability to actually start meetings one-on-one -on -one with somebody. Irvin's right here. I actually, if you look at the bottom, there's what they call the message extensions in the Microsoft world. One of the message extensions is to start a meeting, schedule a meeting, or make a call. I now have the power to start a meeting with Irvin on the fly, right in Teams. Start a one-on-one -on -one Zoom meeting right there. I also have the, the ability to schedule a meeting with Irvin. I actually have the, uh, the ability to make a phone call with Irvin. And I'll show you a couple of examples of those a little bit later on. That's one-on-one -on -one stuff. What about team and channel stuff? I'm part of Team Bernard right here. I'm part of the general channel. If you look at that, there are 12 members of this channel. Actually, there are 11. But what if there was hundreds of people in this channel and I wanted to have an ad hoc meeting with everyone in this channel? I wouldn't want to go in and type 500 names to invite to a Zoom meeting, but I would want to make an ad hoc meeting right from the message extension. I can now type in start a meeting and look what happens. It's going to ask me, what do you want the na name of the meeting to be? We're just going to do an ad hoc meeting. If I can spell that properly. I hit start. And look what happens. It's now Zoom just created 
a new ad hoc meeting right here with this meeting ID. I'm gonna send that meeting to everyone in the channel. Now, everyone in the channel has access to the persistent chat instant messaging feature within their channel. Everyone now can see, hey, Patrick just started an ad hoc meeting. Watch this, one touch join now. I'm gonna click it and again, watch what's gonna happen. It's gonna pop up a Zoom meeting right from Teams. I literally started a Zoom meeting right from the context of Teams with everyone in the channel. So now everyone that's got that instant messaging in their chat can hit join now, one touch, and come into this ad hoc meeting for Team Bernard. All right, let's end that and show you one more feature. So that's the third type of meeting I've created. Let's go back into Teams. What if I wanted to schedule a status meeting with everyone in the team? I wanted to say, hey, every Friday we're gonna have we're gonna have a, a Zoom meeting, and uh, we're gonna have it at, at September twenty third at ten thirty. I'm gonna create this meeting invite, this reoccurring meeting meeting invite, and I'm gonna actually say, hey, and we I want to have that uh, in conferencing room Stevens, and I want to put this passcode on this again, optional if you want it. Watch what happens. What Zoom's gonna do? It actually now creates a scheduled meeting and sets it up inside of your team's channel. Now, watch what happens when I send that meeting. That meeting now goes into your business and chat in, in the Team Bernard channel, the general channel. And now everyone has the ability to accept or decline that meeting on their behalf. And watch what happens when I accept that meeting. I now it says accepted right here at the bottom. Remember this is uh, September 23rd at, at 10.30. I've accepted that meeting. Look what happens when I go to my calendar in Teams. I'm gonna to go to my calendar in Teams. Look what's there. At 10.30, there's a Zoom meeting for Teams. Pretty powerful stuff. That shows you the ability to create meetings on the fly from ad hoc to scheduled to either one-on-one -on -one, uh, or in a channel as well. So that really shows you that you can do that, the simplicity of a Zoom meetings built inside of Teams. Let's go to that another tab, this phone tab right here. What this phone tab does is <laughs> shocking. It does phone stuff. And what this allows you to do is really use the power of Zoom phone inside of Microsoft Teams. Watch this, I'm gonna give you a couple of things that's going on here. On the left side, I have in my entire call history, my PSTN calls that I've leveraged from my Zoom phone. I have when the call took place. I have the direction of the call, whether inbound or outbound. I have the call duration. I have the caller ID number. I actually also have the ability to copy that number and paste it somewhere else. I have the ability to call that number back with this call back icon. Super powerful. Next, voicemail. I now have the about ability to pull in Zoom voicemail from Zoom phone into Microsoft Teams Look at this. I can actually listen to my Zoom voicemail inside of Teams without ever having to leave the client. Watch what happens when I hit play as well. When I hit play, look, voice to text translation. This is actually playing on my speaker. You can't hear it because I'm not playing, sharing the audio, but voice to text translation all happening right here inside of Teams. Super powerful stuff. Now, say I want to make an outbound call. Obviously, I could just type in a number uh, that right here that allows me to make an outbound call. That's simple. That's really easy. But let's look at the power of having the Active Directory integration. What if I want to call Patrick? Look at that. I have all these Patricks. And then I could choose which Patrick I want to call. I have maybe Patrick's business phone. I have maybe Patrick's mobile phone. I then have the ability to just one-click touch and make that outbound call. Patrick just left me a voicemail. What if I wanted to use the callback feature? Watch what happens here. I'm gonna actually hit callback. Watch what's gonna happen. It is now you calling Patrick Kelly. It is now using the power of Zoom phone to make that phone call. Look at that. Patrick Kelly is coming through on my iPhone. Really super powerful that you can make the simple outbound Zoom phone calls inside of Teams. So hopefully that was helpful. We can certainly utilize the power of Zoom 
inside of Microsoft Teams if you're a, if you're a Microsoft shop and showcasing how we can bring the power of these two really powerful applications and seamlessly bring it into into one. Hopefully that was helpful. Again, Patrick Kelly, distinguished architect at Zoom.